Hello, friends of the internet! I have a question for you today. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where the behavior of a motorcyclist made you so angry that you wanted to go up to them and slap them ten ways to yesterday? Well, that's exactly what happened to me. See, I was out filming my previous video when I came across this two guys on a motorcycle pulled off on the side of the road. I had no idea what they were doing. I thought, you know what, I'll be a little helpful, I'll pull over, see if I can offer you some help, you know, maybe something's wrong with your bike, whatever the case is, and off I went to try and help these guys. And they kind of shrugged me off, the guy pulled off and he stalled. So I thought, no, well, you know what, my bike's not in the safest position. I pulled over to another place, I got off the bike, and I actually had a chat with this rider. I ask him, are you, is everything all right? And he says, yeah, no, everything's okay. I'm learning to ride. And I was just absolutely blown away. Here, there is this guy on a motorcycle with a passenger on public streets wearing blackies and he doesn't even know how to ride the damn motorcycle. I was done, man. I was furious. I was actually, I was so dumbstruck I didn't know what to say. And I'm absolutely certain that some of you guys out there have no doubt experienced similar levels of stupid. So if you have, please leave a comment down below. I'm sure a bunch of you guys are out there are probably like, yo, Matt, Matt, calm down. There's nothing illegal about the fact that this oak was riding around in pluckies, so just give the guy a break. And he's learning to ride, come on. Like, isn't that your objective is to get more people onto motorcycles? And yes, it is my objective to get more people onto motorcycles. But I want people to do it in a safe way, in a closed environment, off of the streets, in a parking lot. I've been riding for two years and I still make it a point to go to the parking lot as often as I can. In fact, this year, I'm making it a point to get out there at least once a week and get at least half an hour practice in. On top of that, I add little parking lot routines along my route to and from work, so, you know, I, I, get, I get my exercise in, I get my practice in. I'm sure a lot of you guys will just be like, yeah, but Matt, come on, parking lot? There's not much you can do in a parking lot, and that's where you're wrong, my friend. You see, I've put together the sort of like a little obstacle course, which is compiled from the guys like Fast Eddie from Moto Jitsu and Dan Dan the Fireman and Jerry Palladino, a retired police officer who teaches motocops, like, like, like police officers that ride on motorcycles. That's what he trains them to do. He trains them in parking lots using tight technical drills and they ride like champions. Parking lots are great and I've put together this sort of exercise which you'll see a little bit further on. I just got to tell my story first. Um, but I've actually compiled it as a free to download PDF on my Patreon site. So if you want to check that out, I have a link in the description. You guys can go and download this little thing. It, it's my little exercise that I do. I actually included a brand new element called the gated weave, or I call it the gated weave. In this video, it was the first time I'd ever gone out and actually attempted to do this obstacle. I'd seen it a couple of times and I was like, yeah, maybe it's not for me, I'm not quite sure yet. And this time I did it. And let me tell you, I was nervous as hell, but I did it in the first try, simply because I reapplied the techniques that are required, the fundamental skills that are required to ride a motorcycle. And I did it on a completely different set of obstacles simply because I reapplied the technique. So I want to encourage you guys, man, go out there and practice. I'll actually, I'll challenge you. I will challenge every single motorcyclist out there to go ahead and download my little obstacle course thing. Go set up something in a parking lot in your neighborhood nearby and go and spend half an hour complete the program and tell me 
how you feel. I, I challenge you. And if you accept the challenge, why don't you give that, this video a thumbs up? Let me know how many people are actually willing to go and put themselves out there and learn to control a motorcycle. Now myself and Monique, we went out to the parking lot this weekend and um, you know, we did a couple of, of moves. I did a couple of laps myself. Ooh, sorry, if my speech is dodge, because I'm concentrating a little bit more, riding on dirt on street tires. Ah. Came for the view. I absolutely haven't gone into depth about the different techniques that I use to navigate the obstacles in the parking lot and that's because well I want to use future videos to dedicate one episode to one parking lot obstacle. This is very difficult to do while talking, I will admit. So if you don't want to miss any of those videos, why don't you do me a favor and just hit that subscribe button, man. I mean, it, it, it's not going to cost you anything to do so. And if you ring that little notification bell, you'll actually get an alert when I publish my future videos. But if you've got any questions about, you know, what, what, I've, what I've done, when I'm making these videos, I will gladly address those questions. So please leave them in a comment down below. I'd really like to know what you guys are thinking, what questions you're asking, and what information I, as somebody who's somewhat experienced in motorcycling, have already started regarding a second nature that you guys probably don't know. You know, I've learned everything through my own experience, through mentors like Moto Jitsu, Dan Dan the Fireman. I've gone to so many parking lot sessions, I cannot even remember half the tips that I'm applying because I'm applying so many all at once. And this is, this is like a free platform. If you guys have questions, I'd be more than willing to help in my experience, as, as I, as somebody who's been riding for two years, would understand how to handle a certain situation. Can I turn here? No.
a dead end. Damn it. But like I say, guys, I thank you for hanging out with me and, and just dealing through my, my rants. I, I just I want to inspire people out there to ride and to practice and become good motorcyclists, you know? Um, I think we've got such a bad rep being the adrenaline junkies that we are. And uh, don't get me wrong, man, speed is speed is an addiction of note. But I, just, I want people to be responsible, man, and I want to portray a good image of motorcyclists everywhere I go, or at least a good image of myself as a motorcyclist everywhere I go. And that's why I'm bringing you guys this content. Also, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Excogitate for giving us access to his latest track, which I used in the video montage of the parking scene. So, if you guys enjoyed that, won't you go check out his channel? I've placed the card over here. He's a passionate artist, and he could really do with some support, man. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget, I have the PDF linked in the description down below. It's a free download on my Patreon site. You guys can go check it out all you want. Yeah, man, remember, it's 2022. It's a new year. Life is going to throw some shit at you. But whatever happens, don't look down. Look ahead. And until next time, ride safe.